Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. It's a nice sunny day. It helps offset the fact that we're still in January. <laughs> so, but anyways, I've got an awesome, awesome video for you. It's an addendum to working the ball. Now, what I, what I didn't have in that video, I know it's hard to have, you know, all the elements in there when you're talking, you're trying to do it in one take. But this little thing was, um, was not put into that video and, and it's coming up in a, few, in a few questions and in the performance of a few of my students during these uh, winter supervised practice sessions because we're always thinking about fading and drawing the ball even in my less experienced, uh, experienced uh, students and it, it's paying off in spades. When you're thinking fade versus draw, you must uh, uh, consider them totally separate entities. A fade is a fade, and don't think that the draw is a mirror image of that fade. We gotta, we gotta really separate that thinking. Here's, here's what was omitted from that video. If I'm playing a draw, right? let's say I am going parallel to this mat, and parallel to this mat <clears throat> is basically right between my two posters here. I got the Vokey poster and I got Jack Nicklaus's uh, picture here. So basically it feels like I'm going right in between those two. All right? So let's say I wanted to start, I wanted to draw the ball from the center of the Vokey poster to the center of the Nicklaus picture. So I will take dead aim to the Nicklaus picture. Right there. Play the ball a little bit back in my stance. So now if I swing back and through without stopping over this ball, does that feel like the momentum wants to naturally go towards the center picture of Jack? Yes, it does. Now, I get behind the ball. Does that feel like it's gonna to start towards the Vokey pic uh, picture? Yes, it does. Good. So now I'm in a perfect position to hit the draw. Because I'm playing the ball a little further back in my stance, that's naturally going to move the ball a little right of my target. And obviously, if I'm drawing the ball, curving it to the left, I don't want to start it on my target and curve it away from the target unless I have a very big crosswind. If there's no wind, I want to start a little right and then draw it back towards the target. And the amount that I want it to draw is about half of the amount between the two. Because when the ball lands, you want it to cozy up as it's rolling on the green or as it's rolling in the fairway. So please take into account the amount of roll, okay? So there's my draw setup. For the fade setup, if I wanna go from the Nicklaus picture back to the Vokey picture, I need to make sure that the momentum is going to go towards the Nicklaus picture. So notice the difference between the draw and the fade. The draw, I line up to where I want to end, play the ball back, and start the ball away from where I want to end. That matches the feel and it matches the setup. For the fade, if I play the ball forward in my stance, which basically, if I, if I uh, 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 fading it back, let's say, toward the Vokey picture, and I aim to the Vokey picture, and I play the ball forward in my stance, and I try to swing to the inside or start the ball to the left of the Vokey picture, it feels like I don't have enough room. My body's kind of in the way here. So I really want to feel that the action of my swing is naturally going to start left of the Vokey picture. Then I play the ball forward. Then I can open the face a little. I don't, want to, I don't want the face of the club to be aimed at the Vokey picture because I need to land the ball left of it and let the ball cozy up to it. So I'm gonna aim, take dead aim for the Nicklaus picture, open the face slightly, play the ball forward in my stance, and then swing towards the Nicklaus picture knowing that the ball is going to start curving back towards the Vokey picture. So I hope that cleared it up, right? So here it is, aim left of my uh, target, and faded back towards the target, aim the action of my swing left of that target, forward and open, and let it go towards the left of that target. Absolutely perfect. And draw, aim to my finish target, my, my, where I end up, where I want to end up, 
That's where I'm aiming the action. Play the ball back in my stance, get behind it. Now it feels like I'm going to the right of it. Perfect. Allow the action to stay right of it. Now what's really cool about this is that because the ball is back in my stance, it feels like it's going to the right. There's a natural expansiveness to the swing to the target. If I aim the same way with my fade and play the ball forward and try to swing it to the left, there's no expansiveness. It feels bunched up. So that's why I need to aim the action left. Now it feels like I've got both expansiveness and the proper ball flight. So let me know how that works and we'll talk about it in the forum.